populace or just business as usual? It's been going on since the Crusades, but now with an Internet twist. The underground trade in holy relics is causing fresh controversy. Selling the bones of saints for profit is something the church considers sinful, yet the trade is flourishing. Now rushing in, the relic rescuers. That's the subject of tonight's Backfinders Report, and here's Peter Thorne. Peter. Jim and Katie, you know, it caused controversy last year when fragments of a robe worn by Pope John Paul II were offered for sale to the faithful. The sale of holy relics is something the church frowns on. But we'll show you that both online and inside a very special store right here in Manhattan, the trade in relics is robust, and so is the backlash. These are holy relics, medieval mementos caught in the middle of modern-day controversy. It's something that is offensive to the faith and that gives scandal. And yeah, this is sacrilegious. He's talking about people buying and selling holy relics. The flesh of uh, Pius X, it is a gold case. This one is running around $500. The sale of relics causing serious concern for the Catholic Church. This is very real. It's sort of undercover, and most people don't want to talk about it or hear about it, but it is, it is very real. The faithful believe holy relics come directly from saints and martyrs, so selling them is sinful. Even so, there's a thriving marketplace for relics, sacred bits of bone, teeth, hair, or clothes, even intact skulls venerated by the faithful to focus prayer, inspire devotion. Let's see what else we have here. Amanda Broomer deals in relics from her antique shop on Manhattan's Upper East Side. A lot of people are very bothered. Um, you are, of course, looking at fragments of body parts. But she makes no bones about her passion for the trade. This little one here, I believe, is around, oh, well, there it is, $495. I have two or three clients who will use them to cure the sick, uh, to assist the troubled. There's a notion that people are buying these for de devil worshipping. I've never heard anything so ludicrous. That, that clearly is not the case. Amanda is well aware of the controversy over selling relics. She's in the middle of it. But um, I'm, I'm not really particularly interested in what the uh, public at large has to say about me, my life, or my choices as to what I deal in. Andrew Walther is appalled that people would sell holy relics for profit. He works for an organization that rescues relics, buying them and keeping them off the market. There have been some real serious... Uh, relics being sold, but there have also been some real serious frauds being perpetrated. A feather from the wing of the Holy Spirit. Now, before any of your viewers go and buy that, I've got, you know, a couple words for them. Buyer beware. Saw a little test tube with a cork in it that was the air that Jesus breathed. This priest from Connecticut rescues relics too. This here is a relic of Saint uh, Basil the Great. And what's in there? Uh, this is a bone. These yes. are very striking. Yes. Tell me about yes. these yes. hands. Okay, the, this is 1700s, okay? Uh, it could be middle 1700s, and the saint that's uh, represented with a bone in each of the hands is called Saint Hiftatus. I feel like I'm rescuing something that's sacred. Critics of selling relics especially appalled at eBay, the popular online auction house, where fact finders found these alleged relics offered up to the highest bidder. It's pretty offensive. Walther wants such transactions stopped. He calls it simony, profiting from the sale of something sacred. I really don't understand why they don't just pull the sails. This Catholic priest from our area agrees. You know, it, it makes an insult of God's relationship to us. The relics are for the purpose of prayer and inspiring people not to be um, sold uh, for personal profit. For now, the trade in holy relics is something this holy man can only pray will come to an end. As for eBay, allowing relics to be sold, they emailed us to say, with the exception of hair, relics containing human remains are not permitted on eBay, but other kinds of relics are generally allowed. Critics complain that policy is not well enforced. Now, if there's a story you want us to look into in depth, just let us know at our website, cw11.com slash factfinders. And guys, Katie, as you mentioned, this has been going on forever. Uh, it will probably continue for a while, but so will the critics uh, and their view that it should just uh, abruptly stop. Yeah. Fascinating story. Very interesting. Peter, thank you very much. Sure. Well, now a, a different kind of story dealing